Hey everyone, RNG here, and Chaos Reborn version 0.23 is released. And it has the offline battle mode with the AI, so that's me done for Christmas. I shall be just uh, enjoying that for the rest of the holiday. And so at the moment you can set up up to four players, which can be either human or AI. And I am playing 1v3 at the moment. And I've had a few games of this now. It's pretty good AI, I think. Um, it hasn't done anything particularly stupid, although I do seem to be able to distract it by casting Tangle Vines uh, in the way, which it doesn't seem to know how to go around, so it just keeps bashing its head against those. Uh, also seems to really enjoy killing trees, so if you put trees anywhere, it goes crazy trying to kill all those as quickly as possible. And of course you can do the usual things that you used to be able to do in the original Chaos, like just wait for them to come within range so you can attack them. You always get the first chance to attack if you've got something that can uh, uh, just wait for them to uh, get too close. So we've got a Christmassy theme. I have a terrible cold so I apologise for my um, snuffliness and if I start coughing and spluttering you'll know what that's about. Uh, here we go, we've got these strange trees now instead of, um, what you, well they're still mana sprites but they're very pretty trees. And as you'll see most of the graphics have been slightly altered to give them a wintry feel and uh, there's a few Christmas presents that have appeared which make it look a bit like the uh, Dota 2 winter <coughs> cha graphics changes. I hope they haven't spent too much time doing those. <laughs> rather than adding new spells to the game. Speaking of new spells, a new spell that's been added is the uh, rat pack, the three little giant rats that come into the game that have got movement of three and attack of one, defense of one, and magic power of one, I think. All very, very weak, but three of them at once, So, and they're very easy to cast, so at the beginning of the game it's incredibly powerful. I do not have any of those in my hand. I seem to have a staff of growths, which means I have two tangle vines, so I can demonstrate the crazy behaviour of the AI in trying to kill off Tangle Vines, or at least I can give it a go. It's probably going to be really, really embarrassing if this doesn't work very well. So if I move here, my Tangle Vines can kind of cut off that wizard from getting anywhere near that Mana Sprite. Uh, or I can go over this side <coughs> and do the same over there. And the enemy wizards are usually fairly careful about, at the beginning, going for one of these sprites and um, not coming after you directly unless you've got a very strong creature. Which I don't because the staff of growths it's all going to be gooey blobs or tangle vines. So I'm going to run over this direction and I need to burn a dwarf in order to get a good chance of casting my Tangle vine. Now there's this strange pause after you burn a spell now where it waits for about two seconds and then beeps at you. I don't know what that's about. That just seem, seems a bit weird to me. So let's put... Uh, I don't need that there. Let's put some vines up. I don't think you can get up there from any other angle, can you? So I just need two and then maybe that one there. Don't need that one. Or else should I put a tangle vine? Um, let's put it there. Make sure it works. And now let's see the AI in action. I've got a shadow wood for next turn. Starts with a very festive dwarf and an equally festive goblin and an eagle, which looks the uh, same as ever. So that's a very straightforward first turn play. Goblin, dwarf, eagle, one of each. So fortunately the eagle's over that side. It seems to have gone off in the direction over there, which is nice, not coming after me. So I'm going to take advantage of grabbing this uh, mana sprite very quickly. And uh, now I have to decide what to cast. I could cast 
a manticore that might ma enable me to move quickly, but it's still only a 60% chance. Now, the one thing I'm not sure about at the moment is, is how clever the AI is in disbelieving things. Uh, I haven't noticed it being any more kind of predictable than the um, regular players. So that's a good sign. Also, they've used dis they've used illusions fairly regularly and in appropriate times without making it completely obvious either, as far as I can tell. So that's also a good sign. Um, means the AI is makes you feel like you're playing against a human player, which of course is the is the point of it. So I'm going to I think I'm going to am I going to risk this manticore? What's the biggest boost I can get? A 21. So I've already got a 21 boost. I think I'm going to try it because it would be so useful to have one of this early on. Failed. Oh well. Two shadow words. Look at this. Two blobs, two shadow words. Let's hope somebody comes in range. More dwarfs. What's Twee going to do with a mana sprite? A spider. See, they, they go after my vines there. I'm not quite sure why they like attacking vines, but that eagle might get stuck there for a while now. That's a f four fail to cast dwarf. Now, here we are. Um, slightly worried about that eagle if it decides to ignore my vines and fly over and attack me. The other sprite's gone now, so there's no more use of vine in that direction, although I can possibly cut off four if he wants to get too close. So I'm going to move back down here and let's give myself a bit of protection with some uh, nice woods. Uh, put one down here, one up here, and one right in front of me. Those works at least. And now we see two's kind of turtling over there. Hasn't dared get his mana sprite yet. He also has his own goblin. Twee. Where's that spider going? Yep, they're uh, picking up this. Oh, the eagle's flown away to go after the goblin. Well, that's good news for me. If you can persuade the enemy to sort of go against each other by not making yourself too threatening, that's quite handy. Now, if I could get close enough, that would be a great blob target, but I am not quite, not quite there. And of course I don't want to get too close because I've got no protection of any kind. Uh, I, don't know what to, I don't really think that goblin's going to help very much. Giant might be useful, but I've got no way of boosting it particularly. I could try an illusionary giant and see if it lasts long enough to get a shot off on that wizard. Let's try that. Let's uh, do an illusion. See how good they are at disbelieving. magic bolt. The last game I played I didn't have any magic bolts, the other wizards seem to have all of them. Two finally gets his mana sprite. Cast the spell. Ah, here's the amazing rat pack. So beautifully animated creatures, especially when they die. Another eagle, a goblin for some reason is coming over here. Oh, they're all illusions, oh that's a shame. Well, if they're disbelieving that, they're not disbelieving me. So uh, I need to make effective use of my giant. I can either rumble over here and immediately throw a rock at that unicorn, or I can be slightly... Let's not make myself look too suspicious. Look at this craziness. He's wearing a Santa hat and has a big present. Of course. Why wouldn't he? It seems perfectly natural. Um, and now I need to get a... I really need something to ride on. And this isn't very likely to work, but we'll try. No. No success. This is not going well, this game. 
Fortunately, the other wizards are busy killing each other. Skeleton. We're still at neutral. Suicidal eagle goes in after the dwarves. No look there. Tried to cast another manticore, failed. Oh, killed the eagle. That was uh, over. Well, I wouldn't have done that. Okay, so he still hasn't got on this unicorn, and I'm going to continue to kind of wander around the back here. Try not to be too much of a threat. I'll wander my wizard forward. And let's see what else I can I can I could try a justice spell. Let's see what we can take out. It's a very low chance of success. One, two, three. 457 and failed again. Staff of Growths is a difficult thing to use if you're if you've got nothing to back it up with. Elf comes out. Tweet. See the goblin going after my vine. There's surely much more interesting things to go after than that. Right. Blob over there. Okay. I still can't reach the wizard. The wizards are actually very good at staying out of range of uh, ranged attacks, I've noticed. Um, you can creep up on any other creature, they're quite happy to be attacked, but a wizard will always try and stay out of a range attack if it can do. Now I'm in range of the blob here, so I think it's time I'm going to... I'll probably get a uh, magic bolt in my face if this goes wrong, so... They seem quite willing to use their magic bolts at a very rapid rate. Shadow word, not so useful. <clears throat> Pause again for no good reason. Let's go for the blob at 94%. Please work, please, please, please. Okay, that's good. Giant, move forward. Uh, let's see how he responds to this. Another useless goblin. Okay. Dwarf attacking blobs. Apparently not attacking the one with the skeleton in it. Oh, more rats. Oh, freeze the unicorn, but the unicorn didn't move for some reason and immediately gets re-blobbed. Uh, I think that unicorn should have been able to move after that. So maybe that's a bug in the AI. Right, I get to move up here with my giant and throw my great big Christmas present at this wizard. And kill him. There's one wizard down with my illusion. That's a good use of illusion. Uh, fortunately I put extra vine in there so that that goblin didn't manage to get through. And I'm going to move around here a bit and decide what to do next. We can go for, with that kill, we've got a bit more mana. So I can bring out, we're still at neutral. I don't really mind which one, I suppose I prefer chaos slightly. I'm very unlikely to get that dragon out. So let's cast a real goblin. And end my turn. Meanwhile, the two remaining wizards. Ooh, long range shot on the wizard himself. I like watching all the other uh, players' creatures die. That's always great fun. No Hydra. Goblins trying to get through my vines again. Now, I'll just leave my giant not temptingly in range of that spider and see if its spider goes off and tries to kill that elephant. Uh, meanwhile, I need to stay out of the way of if that goblin comes through, and I think I need some undead would be quite handy. So let's see if I can get that one. And 
I'll put my goblin there in case he does come get to come through those vines. End my turn. There we go. The spider went the other way. That's good news. Oh, elephant has died. So if one of these two wizards gets an advantage over the other one, then I've got to move fast. <gasps> oh, here we go. Sapphire dragon. Now, of course, I could just wait and see what that does before I attempt to uh, disbelieve it. Sapphire dragon is with that staff is, it must be said, very unlikely. So I think that's probably going to be an illusion or a very, very fortunate cast. Um, so if it's more likely to be an illusion, I'll wait and see if it manages to kill a lot of creatures before disbelieving it. I'll bring my giant round here. <coughs> probably get tempted to uh, disbelieve at some point. Also bring my skeleton round. Wizard can move up here a bit, and uh, we could try an illusionary sapphire dragon. See if it can do some damage. I, I don't think there's any point trying to get a real one out. I'm just going to illusion it. Hopefully, he's too scared by that one. Oh, illusionary goblin. Huh. Failed damnation. Illusionary spider. Quite a lot of illusions. Wouldn't we all love to know how they calculate whether to uh, use an illusion or not? Okay. Giant can move forward. Now I've got to decide what to do with my dragon. If I move here, I get a ranged attack. But I do, oh well, I think, since the thing about illusions is that you tend to take a lot more risks with them than you would otherwise do. Uh, because you never know how long you're going to get with them. Which can be a big tell, because if you start taking unnecessary risks, the other players are going to know that you've got an illusion. However, these are AI players, so I'm just going to try and make use of them. On the understanding that it won't actually affect how likely they are to disbelieve. Uh, what else am I going to cast? Right, running out of spells here, running out of things to cast. I have a blob, a tangle vine and a magic bolt um, and a spider. Let's see if I can get a real one since everything else I have is an illusion. And end my turn. Still got to remember to disbelieve that at some point. Or he could just try and get it with a magic bolt. Uh oh. Okay then. Boom. So, still haven't disbelieved my stuff, but I'm now going to really have to disbelieve that sapphire dragon. Lucky me. Okay. So nothing's coming through those vines now, so Goblin can come round. Now I need to make use... Oh, I have a 33% chance if on the wizard himself. This could be for the win. 33%? Nope. Did not succeed. Okay, bring the giant round. Bring the skeleton round. Bring me round. Bring the spider. <clears throat> Nothing I can do, so I'll just end. Oh, lucky elf. Killed my illusion. Right. The only ways up there are to go around the back. So I guess we try and tempt them to come down by walking up this way. There's half the turns left in the game. I could see if I could blob all the way across here. That would be quite funny. Oh, we can disbelieve some more things. Let's try and disbelieve the elf. Nope, it is a real elf. Move the goblin. Don't forget to move the goblin. There we are. No magic shield for you. You still have minimum defence, as do I. Despite you having a 
staff and weapons, you don't actually have any weapons as far as I can tell. So giant continues to move around that way. Skeleton, spider, me, goblin. Ah, finally you have a weapon, a sword. Very cleverly not moving anywhere. It obviously recognises that's the best place he could be in. Um, not charging towards me or anything like that. So we'll just keep going. He might at some point just decide to uh, cast a blob or something like that. I'm going to bring my wizard up here. And uh, because he doesn't... I don't think the wizards are very discrimi discriminating when they fire their magic bolts, so it can be sometimes better to bring a goblin forward first and try and tempt them to... Oh, that elf is just too good. Try and tempt them to attack other creatures. Well, they disbelieve the goblin. Bring that forward. The elf can't do anything about my skeleton, of course, but my that magic sword certainly can. Uh... And I can move here and do a majestic blob, although this is a... V <laughs> I'm going to have to burn everything to get it. So I have an 86% chance, or I could burn my magic bolt as well. He, That's a risk, isn't it? Okay, let's go with 86%. If this fails, I will look like a complete idiot. <laughs> Didn't fail this time, so we can now rush the spider forward and hope that he can't escape. Okay, well and truly blobbed. I can't do anything from there, so I have to uh, come round. Which way am I going to go? Am I going to come round, try and come round here? And if he's still stuck there, I might be able to use my magic bolt. And run down there. Up comes the skeleton. Up comes the spider. End of turn. Got the elf. That's very good. <clears throat> no more ranged nonsense. Right. The spider cannot... Oh, he's free. That's uh, unfortunate. Spider will move around here. Skeleton up here. Maybe he'll get re-blobbed. Mean meanwhile, I'm going to bring myself around this way. Seven turns remaining. Oh, subversion. That's most unfortunate. However... Oh, I'm engaged to the enemy! Oh no! I'm stuck. Mind you, he's blobbed there, so I can come forward and... Okay, it's so my one chance. 71%. Yes! Victory is mine. Thanks for watching, everyone. That's been Chaos Reborn, version 0.23, the version with the AI and hot seat mode, and I'm going to really enjoy playing this over Christmas. Bye for now.